Okay, so I've been meaning to make this video for the longest time right now, and this is an issue regarding Splatoon 2. Now, personally, I'm not too sure if this is th something that I guess the Splatoon 2 developers can fix, or if, if it's in their control, or if the Nintendo Switch developers, or just Nintendo themselves, uh, could, I guess, fix this issue. Now, if you guys did not know, Splatoon 2 is known for having a lot of input lag. If you guys didn't feel it, then you should know that it is there and it's apparent. If you've ever played Splatoon 1, you would notice straight away that the Splatoon motion controls were much more responsive than Splatoon 2's motion controls by far. In fact, it's actually been tested by a guy known as Alan P. There is about a 50 millisecond response difference between the Splatoon 1's motion controls and Splatoon 2's motion controls. All of Alan's Splatoon 2 latency tests are in the description below if you'd like to check them out. But because personally for me, for this game to be this latent, I honestly feel like it's unacceptable. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate Splatoon 2. I love the game. I love the core aspect of it. But the motion controls need to be fixed. Now, I know there's going to be a couple stick warriors out there that are going to say, well, dude, why don't you just use sticks then instead of motion if it's not as bad? Well, unfortunately, that's not an option either because buttons and sticks are 58 milliseconds slower compared to Splatoon 1. So basically, we're all in the same boat if you play sticks or motion. Now, some may ask, why is it such a problem? Well, in terms of competitive or just generally playing, it's a big problem because it is much harder to aim. You have to move your wrist earlier to make sure that the response comes into the right time that you predict it to come in. You're basically having to think about predicting your aim, where in Splatoon 1 it wasn't an issue because as soon as you moved your arm or your wrist with motion controls, it moved at the same time. Which honestly, me explaining that, it kind of seems obvious. Why would you want to predict your aim if you could just move it at the same time and just feel really fluid while aiming? It's kind of a question that answers itself honestly, if you didn't know. Another reason why it's such an issue is because it makes the game much slower. Since we aren't able to be as twitchy as aiming as we could, it's a lot harder to be consistent with aiming when you try to. This especially hurts the competitive scene because it doesn't allow people to play at their peak performance. Because you get yourself into a situation and you need to make sure that you get all your shots onto this person. But the thing is, is that while you're trying to like control the latent motion controls or latent aiming, however you want to say it, you have to put a whole nother factor of predicting your aim or predicting ahead of time where your crosshair is going to go if you make a certain movement with your arms. And all that time being spent trying to predict where your aim is going to go, you're wasting time. In Splatoon 1, it, you didn't have to think about it because if you moved your wrist left or you moved your wrist right, your crosshair would move instantly. And that's probably one of the biggest things that hurt a lot of players in this game. Another one is that slower playstyles are now more favored in this game instead of the more aggressive playstyles. So let's just picture a situation. So we have one guy that's just standing still and another that's coming, I guess, towards this person, but like not directly towards them, but into their crosshair sight. Like, so let's say it feels like Pokemon, where you walk in front of a trainer, they see you bidding with battle. So the person walking up to the line, they are not going to be able to react as fast if they spot the person as soon as they walk into the line. The reason being is because in real life, they will be able to react to it, of course. So they turn their wrist left 90 degrees. But the thing is, in the game, they are still going to be looking forward instead of looking at the person that's already shooting at them. All the other person has to do is just press one button and start shooting without having to adjust their aim or anything because they came in today. I know for sure in Splatoon 1, there are many situations where this is apparent, but the better player or the more reactive player would win because they were quicker on the aim. Because as soon as they moved their wrist, the crosshair moved as well. Which is unfortunately why more reactive playstyles are less apparent in Splatoon 2. And it's also another reason why I guess many weapons like Blasters, Rapid Blasters and Rapid Blaster Pros are pretty much one of the strongest weapons in the game because they don't require much aim. Now I don't really know if this is just a Splatoon 2 issue or it's a Nintendo Switch issue and I'm not even too sure if it can be fixed. I feel like it could considering they're able to update the motion controls every so often but it doesn't they don't really get too much of an update they're usually just still the same but I feel like if Nintendo really want to focus on fixing motion controls fix the response time. So here's something that's even more ridiculous if you were to wire up your pro controller to your dock and play Splatoon in wired communication 
you get even more input lag compared to using your Pro Controller wirelessly, which is even more insane. The Nintendo Switch dock has two USB 2.0 ports, and there is also a USB 3.0 port, but it doesn't work as a 3.0 port. I even have a USB 3.0 Type-C cable, and I've connected it to the USB 3.0 port, and I get the same sort of result and connection. Now, maybe this is something Nintendo hasn't actually updated into the dock or for the Switch yet, that the, I guess the USB 3.0 uh, port doesn't work like a 3.0 port. But maybe this is something that can help fix up the motion controls. Maybe making that specific USB 3.0 port have a much faster connection for your Pro Controller. If that was the case, then maybe motion controls could be saved in Splatoon 2 with that. This is why I mainly think it could potentially be a Nintendo Switch issue. But if it's not, then I really hope the Splatoon 2 developers or somebody is watching this video to try and put the word out that the response time for this game specifically needs to be faster. I can't lie that it does make the game less enjoyable because as it seems like such a burden every single time I get into situations and I am trying to aim in the right place but I can't because sometimes my crosshair would whiff over the person and I try to reposition my controller to make it sure that it aims at the person but then I whiff over the person again because latency. And honestly, I just really want this to be fixed because it's one of the biggest problems right now in Splatoon 2. The game is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I love Splatoon 2. I love Splatoon as a whole. But this, I know, I just feel like this can be fixed. So please, if you guys can, share this video as much as you possibly can. Get Nintendo, get the Splatoon devs to look at it, please, because it's so annoying. I can't lie. It's so annoying and it's so frustrating because, like, Splatoon 1, it was so amazing. It just felt good and I just didn't have to think about aiming. But with this game, I have to think about it every single time and I lose so many situations just because of it. So... I'm begging, I'm on my knees. Please fix this Nintendo or Splatoon devs. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please share the video out. And that is pretty much all I got to say. So I hope to see you guys in another video.